now we will discuss carotid brui welcome to our channel internal medicine made easy the online learning platform that provides medical education to healthcare professionals and students to improve their clinical skill and help them in their studies courses careers and research carotid brui is a vascular sound usually heard with a stethoscope over the carotid artery because of turbulent non-laminar blood flow through a stenotic area. It may point to an underlying arterial occlusive pathology that can lead to stroke. A large portion of ischemic strokes is due to carotid atherosclerotic plaque. Therefore, early detection of carotid disease is central to minimizing the incidence of stroke. Since auscultation for a carotid brie is non-invasive, it has been routinely performed during physical exams, especially in patients deemed high risk for cerebrovascular diseases, such as the elderly. Etiology Atherosclerotic lesions are commonly found in the arteries that arise from the aortic arch vessels. About 80% of these lesions are located at the bifurcation of the common carotid arteries. Carotid artery auscultation is primarily done during an exam to determine if carotid stenosis may predispose the patient to a stroke. In patients with a 2 mm carotid artery luminal narrowing, carotid brie is present 70% 89% of the time. Luminal narrowing of the carotid artery, however, is not the only cause of carotid brie. Auscultatory sounds from cardiac valvular murmurs that radiate to the neck, cervical venous hums, and intracranial artery venous malformations can produce vascular sounds similar to the carotid brie. Arterial tortuosity and kinking and high output clinical states may generate brie even in normal or non-stenotic arteries. For example, in patients with thyrotoxicosis, there is an increase of 5 to 10-fold increase of blood flow to the enlarged thyroid gland, resulting in a systolic brie directly over the gland. Vascular occlusion from an extrinsic compression such as carotid body tumors and carotid paraganglioma have also been reported to cause carotid brie. Disruption of the blood vessels can cause brie and have presented in patients having a carotid artery dissection, non-sclerotic and non-inflammatory diseases such as fibromuscular dysplasia commonly affect the internal carotid arteries and cause carotid brie. This can be found incidentally during the exam. Pathophysiology, the brie typically implies stenosis at or proximal to the area of auscultation. The auscultated sound is usually the result of turbulent non-laminar blood flow through a stenotic area. The turbulent flow creates vibrations in the arterial wall that then transmits to the body surface where stethoscopic auscultation is possible. When the lumen is about 50% narrowed, a soft early systolic murmur is audible. This sound can become high-pitched, more intense, and whole systolic. When the stenosis approaches 60%, when the diameter reduces to 70-80%, to a brie can is audible during systole and early diastole. As the occlusion becomes very severe, Blood flow turbulence becomes insufficient to cause vibratory sounds and a brie may disappear. Physical examination. The optimum position for listening for a carotid brie is with the patient either supine or sitting. In the sitting position, optimal carotid palpation and auscultation are achievable when approaching the patient from behind. With the patient's chin pointing straight forward, the bell of the stethoscope is applied over the course of each carotid artery, sealing the overlying skin. The patient is then instructed to inspire deeply 
and hold the breath without bearing down for 15 to 30 seconds. Auscultation continues during and shortly after the breath holding. Breath holding not only eliminates other adventitious sounds but it, all, but it also accentuates a carotid breath. While a carotid brew may alert clinicians to the presence of carotid artery disease, it is not sensitive and specific enough to diagnose carotid disease. On identification of a brew, however, the next step is to determine whether the patient needs additional testing or referral. This usually depends upon the assessed vascular risk factors of the patient and or the presence of signs and symptoms suggestive of any neurovascular disease. Commonly, imaging studies such as carotid duplex ultrasound, computed tomography and geography, and magnetic resonance and geography of the neck help confirm the diagnosis and provide anatomical layout if a surgical intervention is warranted. Management Upon confirmation of carotid artery disease as the source of the carotid brewery, medical and surgical treatment should begin based on the severity of the stenosis, presence or absence of neurological symptoms, and the comorbidity of the patient.